Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of tiki drinks and rum and hockey <laughs> and things of, of that nature. <laughs> a lot so. of stuff. A lot of things. We can't jump into this till we do this. No, of course. Alex Boncoito, the voice. From Alex Boncoito, the voice. His own voice. damn thing. Alex Boncoito, the voice. Voice, 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 voice. Alex Boncoito, my fighter. Love By the way, uh, Marcus Ortiz is here as well. Marcus, uh, Alex did that intro himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't he, surprise me. Yeah, he insisted on <laughs> having Demanded that intro. we play it. You he know, he so did. It was really awkward. It was. He's like, here's my theme song. Play it. There. You have a theme song? What? Yeah, yeah play it. Alex Von Coito, good morning. What up, bro? Oh, good morning. It was, uh, it was a big weekend of hockey in Macon. Oh, yeah. Um, Friday night. Yeah. Give us the rundown on that. Yeah. Um, we were playing Roanoke. Who we hadn't seen in a long time. We okay. stopped playing them pretty early, I think, like halfway through the season last year. And um, this is our first time seeing them in what seemed like forever. And it was a it was an exciting game. Um, the guys came from behind three different times, tied the score back up. Mm. We went down, came back, tied it up, went down, tied it up, forced overtime um, with a, a goal in the last three seconds. I don't know mm. if you were there yeah. for that. No, mm. no, no. I you missed it. I had a busy weekend, Alex. He I, I, he, I kind of got out right after that, mm-hmm. and I really wish I hadn't because that that last, like you said, three seconds in the game to tie it up and uh, yeah. force it into a shootout. That was yeah, that was one of the most exciting goals I've seen in that building uh, since I've been here. So wow, it was awesome. Um, unfortunately, overtime and shootouts have not been our bread and butter <laughs> over the past couple of years. I think we've dropped uh, four or five straight shootouts, so that's an area we need to work on. Mm-hmm. But well, um, Jimmy yeah, said but, it last week. It's kind of that first one to make a mistake. Right, exactly. And we got a point out of it at least, which okay. you know meant that um, we stayed tied for second place. And then um, we'll say that. <laughs> and then Saturday night we played uh, Birmingham, who's always a really tough opponent, and just took care of business against Birmingham on Saturday. Four one was the final score. And yeah, on a Saturday but- night I had to duck out a little bit early, and I will say I felt good about leaving the game when it was three to one because you guys had had, had manhandled Birmingham. Yeah. All night Saturday night. Mm-hmm. It, it's always, you never really know what you're going to get when you face a team that was off the night before and yeah. they traveled the day of the game. Sometimes, you know, they use their rest to their advantage and sometimes they're just a little rusty. And uh, we had a great first period, got off to a good start and just never turned back from there. That's enough out of you. Mm. Marcus, good morning. Wow. You see how you shut you down <laughs> just that fast, Alex. Mm-hmm. First time on the show, Marcus. Yes, sir. Well, you, uh, you joined the Mayhem last year. We were talking off here. There were about six games left in the uh, regular season when you came on board. Uh, welcome back this season. Tell us a little bit about you, Marcus. Uh, I'm originally from Dallas. Um, I played my college hockey up in uh, western New York at a small school called Fredonia. Um, after my college career was over, I started in the ECHL, or ended the season there, I, would, I should say, and then played the first 30 games of the following year there. And then I've been in Knoxville for the last year and a half, and then Came to Macon with six games left last year and never looked back. Been here since. What uh, position do you play? I'm a winger. You're a winger now. Yes, as we are educating, yeah, both, you got you got to explain both no. us and the audience. No, you just explained this to Tony. About explain hockey. to Tony what a winger is. What is a winger? A uh, winger is uh, one of the forwards that does not take faceoffs. So I'm off either on the left or the right mm-hmm. flank, as you would say yep. in most other sports. And um, mm-hmm. Normally, our job is just to try to score goals and be physical and chase puck around. Yeah. And Offense. He, he did that this past weekend. And you did that he this did that past weekend. Tell us yeah. about uh, tell us about your goals this weekend. Um, well, I think uh, you know it's it's kind of weird. You especially at the beginning of the year, you go through those stretches normally where um, you know your your goals are either generated off of luck or just you know sheer bounces. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been pretty fortunate this year that we have such an experienced group and such a tight knit group that our all of our goals have come for the most part off of just hard, hard working plays and, and good teamwork yeah. uh, and good effort. So, um, you know, this weekend was nothing short of that. We had, you know, new guys, different guys step into the lineup, step into different lines and this and that. And it didn't matter who was playing with who it seems like, but we were just finding ways to make great plays and, you know, everybody was being physical. And like, like you guys said, uh, Saturday, you know, we, we knew Birmingham had the night off Saturday or Friday, and we knew that they were going to come in and they were going to, you know, play hard, play like a rested team. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to, to physically impose our will on them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we did a really good job of that. And Saturday was a physical game. Very. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. it was 
it was exciting. Yeah. I think it's the best word I can choose to describe <laughs> it. One of the, one of the goals. brutal is another word I would choose to describe it, but we'll go with exciting. <laughs> Man, one of the goals Marcus scored on Friday, I thought was uh, maybe our best goal of the season uh, in terms of just, you know, flash, but uh, one of our new players from uh, from Maine, he played at University of Maine last year, Daniel Perez. Uh, he was on Marcus's line for a little bit, and he drove in behind the the um, Roanoke net, and that goaltender was playing out of his mind at the time. And he kind of got the – when he was behind the net, he got the goaltender to turn, mm. right, and turn his head mm. to, to look at him. As soon as the goalie turned his head, Dana Perez dropped the puck off and just kind of left it. Marcus was crashing the net. The goal was wide open because the goalie was still he was turning. still turning. Yeah. He was turning his way. head. He had no idea where the yeah. puck was before yeah. he knew it. Marcus put it in the back of the net, and it was beautiful. It was a thing of art. It was a now see goal that you see at the at the NHL level a lot. <laughs> here's the difference between Alex and myself. Alex is at the top of the arena and sees all of this. <laughs> I'm right there on the glass, and I'm like, "Did we score?" <laughs> <laughs> Did we score? I didn't see. I didn't he see follows it. all that action much better than I do, Marcus. <laughs> you got to get the nosebleeds. It's where you could see all the action. You could see everything. Or just so go for the nose go off. Yeah. Now, um, underrated seats. Tell me when you started playing hockey. Uh, I started playing hockey when I was – I started skating when I could walk. Um, my mom put me on skates as soon as I could walk and then just kind of never looked back. I started taking hockey lessons when I was three and started playing organized hockey at four. Does Dallas have an active hockey scene? I mean, you don't, you don't think of the South being a place that has an you know an active hockey scene. Right. Uh, it, it does now. It's grown – a lot um the, you know the stars have invested a lot yeah of i will say yeah the yep. nhl team has helped a lot with that yeah. down in dallas yeah they own all of the rinks uh around the dallas fort worth area and um yeah youth hockey's huge there's a travel team and a and a recreational league oh, wow. at every rink that's very cool marcus mm. uh, glad to see you back in making the season yeah. looking for a lot of uh, a lot of big stuff out of you this year uh i feel really good about about the way the season started man I do too. And the team looks really good. Um, opening home stand, we took six points out of eight, which is it's a great start yeah, to the year. Um, the next challenge we have is going to be a big one, though. You know, we've got Peoria four games in a row. I was going to ask mm. about this. We have yeah. uh, two away games mm -hmm. this week, so there are no home games at the Centerplex this weekend. That's but right. you go to Peoria, and then you come back. Yeah. On the eighth and ninth mm -hmm. for Peoria. Yeah. So, so is it weird to face a team four times in a row, Marcus? You know, I honestly feel like I'm getting used to this when it comes to Peoria. Um, yeah. When we were in Knoxville, we went through the same thing every year. We would play four games in a row against Peoria, <laughs> and it just it creates a hate for sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not hard to hate Peoria to begin with. No, well, well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you play them four times in a row. It's and not just, just the hockey, Peoria in general. Well, it's we just easy don't like to hate them. It's easy to hate them. You know, just all of them. But, what's, what's it like in the third period of, of game four? <laughs> that was what I was going to ask. You just ready to hit it, somebody for real. Oh. Is it kind of a different attitude on game four than it is in game one after you've had well, them four be. times in a row? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, I mean, you're you're wanting the worst things to happen. Because every little <laughs> cheap shot you remember, it was yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> like, it was just yesterday you did it to me. So, yeah. Remember last Saturday? <laughs> yeah. It's a new Friday now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah it's Wow. Yeah, if you're especially if you're one of the smaller players, you're you're really thinking and thinking twice about what you do on Friday of week one as opposed to week two. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna be real kind and gentle on this first game. Yeah, they hmm. they don't have a PS and teeny. I don't think he's a wee little fellow. Wee little man. He is a wee little fellow. <laughs> He doesn't have a hockey stick. He has a shillelagh. <laughs> Stop. He's out there hitting the puck with his shillelagh. What is he like? Three two? <laughs> five five, I think. I think he's smaller than that. Really? He's wow. A, now on skates, um, he's 5'5". Five, 5'5 yeah, five. Five, five is yeah. generous. <laughs> he has a wee little fella. Yeah. Wow. You, guys are, you guys are beasts when you get in those skates and in your pads. Because in here, you know, your average height, you get on those skates, you guys are giants. <laughs> Except for him. He's still a wee <laughs> little fella. Too. Yeah, right? For the most part, I thought he helps. was youth league. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I thought he was like an 11-year-old. <laughs> He's he's a very popular player. Oh, he is. They yeah. absolutely love him. Well, of course oh, the kids do. love him. They're about you the know. same size. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I was talking to some of their fans. They do love him. And they yeah. give him a hard time, too. Mm -hmm. And he's he's a rough player. But he has a little wee little, wee little <laughs> fella. Well, they say the scrawny ones are real, you know. you know, they Scrappers, yeah. Charles. Yeah. They're, sc yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're uh -huh. scrappers. Uh -huh. Marcus, good to meet you. Very nice to Thanks meet you. for coming yeah. in this morning. Yeah. Alex, always uh, pretty good to see you. Yeah. Wow. He does. Always good to see you, Alex. You know, Charles. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got me. He, I try. He also I'm makes his play this twice. Voice, 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 <laughs> He's voice, very demanding. Voice, I don't know if you know voice, that. Voice, That's false news. The you say.
That is very true. Here's Muddy Waters on the Creek.